Welcome back to Andy's Guide. In today's video, we are going to show you some of the best Microsoft Visual alternatives. Let's begin. Microsoft Visual is diagramming and vector graphics application developed by Microsoft. It is part of the Microsoft Office Suite and is used for creating detailed and complex diagrams for various businesses and technical purposes. Now, if you think that Microsoft Visual is a little bit pricey, we are going to show you some of the best alternatives in the market right now. Let's start with lucid chart it is a popular diagramming and visual communication tool and i believe it's one of the best to give you an easy to use drag and drop interface allowing users to create diagrams quickly without stepping a learning curve it offers a wide range of pre-built templates when you go here and the template gallery you see they have um, flow charts technical system or charts and network diagrams which of course can give multiple users on the same diagram simultaneously with changes updated in real time for example you choose the flow chart right here okay and you insert that to the lizard template what will happen is users can leave comments and chat directly within the document here all right see that one and then of course at the uh now on the left side panel where you can see the editing tools you have the visual activities you can search for the uh, team building all right of course the uh, some of the options is going to be premium quick start there's a lot what i'm the good thing about it is in adding the media right here if you can if you have like an images panel click on it all right you can put in some image like um streamline icons gifs if you want it you also have an option to import an image let's do that right now now after that you see you have now the option to of course add a, a gif if you want it put it here to make the uh, board interactive all right not only that you have an option to the presentation builder all right you can create a new slides here and of course the recorded video itself this is very useful when collaborating with teams and of course it has an integration with the with popular tools such as google drive microsoft office slack and more at the bottom you have an option to have a mini map and of course the layers it has you can add more layers as you progress with your board the next thing that we're going to discuss is now diagrams.net or formerly known as draw io is a widely used free open source diagramming tool and of course it's completely free to use it doesn't require no premium versions or hidden costs making it an attractive option for individuals and small teams i've been using draw.io in the past and uh, the thing is it's available as a desktop application for offline use which is beneficial for working without an internet connection that's why um this is one of the platforms that i work with um uh, with the uh, multi multiple freelancers in my client right now now here it's very easy straightforward process you got to go here on the left side panel of your dashboard you can create your scratch pad there's a lot of options that you can do for example click on more shapes you can put in any shapes that you wanted all right drag and drop it's really easy you could go for advanced miscellaneous right here drag and drop or you can just click it any part of your board now the thing is you also have an option at the top wherein you can put in more information here and more data just like that so there's a lot that you can do or for example this one i'm going to be choosing this uh, color apply you see now if you click on the share button the thing is You'll need to save this as draw.io to Google Drive before you can collaborate with people or multiple freelancers here. All right. But again, don't worry because most of the time uh, it supports exporting diagrams in various formats. Because when you go here, when you click on the export, there's a lot that you can choose like PNG, JPEG, WebP, SVG, PDF. And when you click on the advanced option here, so there's more options to choose from. You don't have to worry because you can also export up uh, embed this to as an image svg html and google docs google slides 
basically it integrates well with the google ecosystem uh, that's one thing that i always love about draw.io or diagram.net it provides a strove, uh, straightforward drag and drop interface that is easy to use for creating and editing diagrams all right not only that it offers a range of customization options for shape as you can see it from here you can also build a flow chart users to create diagrams to meet their needs now next in line is we have miro it is a collaborative online whiteboard platform designed for brainstorming planning and visual collaboration now i'm not gonna discuss so much about uh mirror because we have so many videos in our youtube channel speaking of our channel you might want to click on subscribe to get the latest update here you can check the uh miro tutorials all right we also have the comparison between miro against mural miro against fig jam and a lot more all right but the uh, in a nutshell miro offers tool set with a range of features on the left side panel it all offers various uh, tools including sticky note comment frames text diagrams and mind maps when you click on the templates here all right it provides a diverse of library of templates for brainstorming planning workflows and other purposes now uh, same like with the um, other platforms you can of course share the project and then there's going to be more apps here that you can embed and of course um, integrate well with other um, third parties all right when you click on the apps click on the discover you see it has a cross-platform access the um, third-party integrations with popular tools such as slack microsoft teams google drive trello asana and more so there's a lot that you can uh, do with the miro uh, it provides access to icons and images and other assets to enrich your boards and of course with multiple collaborators within this specific platform now obviously choosing the right tool depends on your specific needs such as complexity of the diagrams collaboration requirements budget and integration needs if you think visual is not working for you you might want to check each of their uh, official websites for example lucid chart we might want to go to the pricing to see if it fits your uh, budget and needs all right just go here also with the uh, mirror it wouldn't hurt to check because it pays to check go to the pricing if you think you can compare all right just go with to their official websites and of course with the draw.io which is an open source website you can simply start no login or registration required all right well, thanks for tuning to andy's guys if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up do not forget again to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all of the latest content and i'll see you in the next guide